everybody my name is crystal and welcome to my youtube channel good evening i'm nothing to be frightened of no one should be afraid of me <laughs> alexa what's the time please the time is 7 19 pm so good evening everybody um i've just come back from taking max out for a walk he's a little chihuahua um so basically I am mentally stressed, I feel tired, and I've taken Max out for a walk. Um, what I believe, under immense pressure, and I've kept it all together. Um, I feel like I'm being painted a villain, and I'm not a villain at all, I'm actually a victim. Um, when you're under as much stress as me, you're bound to like lose it at times. But I've held it together. I'm not cross. I'm tired. I would like a break from this place, like a couple of weeks away, so that I can reflect, rethink, and um, just get myself together. Um, however, I don't think that's going to be possible. So basically, I'm just trying to move it happens to other people there's a girl on tiktok that's being stalked by a man and he's making her life a misery and she just wants to move but you've got to have the finances to move otherwise you've just got to put up with it there's not a lot police can do without witnesses and evidence and i'm trying to gather as much evidence as i can that i'm being victimized and bullied um so that's all i can do this video I wanted to show you that, right, I've gone up to see my mum. I've gone up to see my mum. My mum's, um, I've had a lovely takeaway. My mum's helped me out with some cash and I don't need to, to steal. That's what I mean by people trying to make out I'm a villain, like, um, like making out, I've got no money, I've got nothing to eat, so I'm going to steal steal off the streets when I'm not. So now I'm going to show you what my mum has given me, right? So we're going to start with the Tunnock's tea cakes. I haven't been out to the co-op this evening. There's no need to go out to the co-op. I'll probably do that tomorrow morning. Tunnock's tea cakes established 1980 and i'm not wearing black today i'm wearing this chicago balls t-shirt female t-shirt from primark in blue water tonics tea cakes that's what my mum gave me my mum my mum gets charlotte to do her shopping and charlotte goes to morrison's for my mum so we've got some Morrison Savers facial tissues. Tissues. I know that's not anything to eat, but it does help out, if you know what I mean. Um, what else did my... I'm going to show you the spaghetti bolognese from Super Pizza. And that's what's left of that. I'm so tired, guys. My mum is looking okay, actually. My mum looks well. My mum looks well. She looks in better condition at me than me at the moment. I just feel stressed. My mum got me some four Kit Kat chunkies. I presume this has all come from Morrison's. I haven't been to the co-op today. This is the chocolate fudge cake. Hang on a moment. That is not the chocolate fudge cake. No, it's not. This is the chocolate fudge cake. Oh, that smells lovely. That's the chocolate fudge cake. Super pizza. Well, I 
seen the neighbours are ganging up on me and uh, making out that I'm a criminal and a villain. In fact, they're the ones that are looking the villains and the criminals, not me. We have a prawn salad. Prawn salad. Super pizza. Okay, and my mum... She always helps out with dog and cat food from Morrison's and bits and pieces. Um, I want things to go back to normal. I don't want to be miserable. I don't want to be stressed. So, we'll see what happens. Two tasty chunks dog food. So, Max has got 24 pouches of dog food there. We've got 24 pouches of tasty Morrison's cat food. My mum likes to give me these um, fruit pastels as well. Um, now I think we got on well better because we haven't seen each other for a while and it worked out better, I think. Haribo Super Mix. You've seen that. My mum gave me some cheese and onion crisps, walkers. And she gave me some baked what's it? So, considering, you know, I went to Blue Water on Friday with my son, who treated me to some clothing, and he bought me lunch. And I've seen my mother today and she's bought me lunch and given me some bits and pieces. I'm very grateful. I'm very grateful. So for those people that hate me, that wish me dead, and whatever, they do, they wish you dead. Um, there are people in my family that do care about me and thank goodness for that. Some chicken nuggets. I haven't eaten those either. Chicken nuggets. Can you, I mean, I'm a very strong person. Can you imagine, get this scenario in your head. A woman living by herself that's gone through me mental health problems, that has lost all her children to her ex-husband, who's lost her life nearly three times Sit, living on her own with no company no support and being bullied and harassed by unknown neighbors i don't know why they're doing it um and then one of your neighbors is walking down the road with a shopping bag a shopping bag full of shopping probably thinking that I've got nothing to eat and ha 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 the joke's on you because I have been to my mum's and I've had a takeaway. I went to the co-op yesterday and I got some food but do you see how you're provoked? So the, the neighbours to the left of me slammed the door and the dog started barking. And then another neighbour was walking down the street at the same time I walked my dog with a bag of shopping. That I've never had that before. So you have to be strong. I have got food, but if I hadn't have had any, I don't know. They're just spiteful, horrible people picking on me. Um... That's not the only thing they do. I told you they leave um, things in the rubbish, perfectly good items, but they stick them in the bin. And then if you take them out the bin, they, they call you a tramp. But I don't take things out the rubbish bin because I can buy my, own, buy, buy my own things. But that went on in Gloucestershire, throwing decent things in the bin. They also leave nasty surprises for you on the floor. Um, in 
Chatham when I lived at my previous address that someone had dropped meat on the floor that had gone off and it was full of maggots. In Gloucestershire there was a, a revolting fish head left on the floor and I was starving up in Gloucestershire, I was. And I was pushing a baby in a pram miles into town because I couldn't afford the bus fare. Here is completely different. And here I've got nothing to lose. And I will fight for justice, believe you me. I've got nothing to lose anymore. I've lost absolutely everything in my life. Do you think that I'm going to sit down and watch these neighbours try and destroy me and drive me out of my flat and take the piss out of me? Do you think I'm going to just sit here and take it? Because no, I'm not. At all. Spiteful, nasty, horrible people trying to destroy me. I would not hurt anybody. No. And if I was starving, hungry, I wouldn't hurt anybody. Up in Gloucestershire, I didn't use physical violence to get food. I just let myself nearly starve to death. I made sure my children and my pets were fed, and I was almost starving to death. I don't think what's going on is funny. I think it's cruel and disgusting. And the sooner I move out of here, the better. And I mean it. The sooner I move away from the people that are doing this to me, the better. And they're not driving me out of my flat because in 2020, when I moved into this block of flats, um, within two or three weeks, I wanted to move out and I can't because you need to find a place to live first. <laughs> so, you have to hold your head up high because you're more intelligent than they are. You've got more strength than they have. They are a bunch of cowards trying to bring me down because they are guilty of something. They must be. To try and fight me and make me out to be a villain, they must be. And taking the piss, copying my clothes, and I don't speak like this. Hello. I don't go, I don't go past people and go, hello. I don't speak like that. When I go into the co-op and I talk to Kim, I go, hello, Kim. I don't go, hello, Kim. Do I? If you're going to take the piss out of me, mate, make sure you do it properly. <laughs> make sure you do it properly. <laughs> Otherwise you're going to look a twit, aren't you? So, guys. I don't want to do any more stressful videos. I want to get back on my feet. I will return to keep visiting my mum and we'll have episodes of me and my mum again. And we're going to try and get some balloon videos in and fitness videos in and fuck these horrible neighbours. Because that's what they are, they're horrible. <laughs> fuck them. And I'm telling you now, I'm not afraid of any one of them. Not one of them. Not one of them at all. And while I'm getting thinner, they're getting fatter. Because I haven't eaten all that takeaway. I, I ate the chicken burger and I just managed to eat the chicken burger. And do you know, I really haven't eaten much else. And I've sweated buckets walking Max on the field. And my health will return, my mental health will return to normal when I keep away from the pestilence. The pestilence, the pests, the jealous parasites that keep trying to, to feed off me and steal off me. I will start to get better. Um, if they're frightened of me, I think that's really stupid. I'm five foot five. I'm a female. I've been through so much. And, you know, 
if you're frightened of me, you, you, you haven't spoken to me, you haven't come up to me and have a conversation, you've just judged in your, in your head or listened to other people repeating rubbish and that's not my problem if you, you know so that that's not provoked me as you can see guys neighbors coming down the road with bags of shopping in front of me and um i've got bags of shopping myself so you can stuff that where the sun don't shine <laughs> cruel cruel isn't it uh, well in 2020 it was chicken boxes of chicken on the on the roof of a car with pepsi cola takeaways at three o'clock in the morning keeping me awake um, um in gloucestershire it was throwing decent food on the floor and thinking i was going to pick food off the floor well it's not working and um, my mum's helped me out with money but still there is no king charles head on these notes so i should be paying a trip to the co-op tomorrow morning me crystal so my mum's helped out i should be going to the co-op tomorrow morning i don't get up for work early because i don't go to work and i don't drive a car so my, I haven't got a car parked outside anybody's flat because I can't drive. I've never learned to. And um, I have got people that care about me. Quite a few, actually. And all these bullies think because I'm on my own, they're going to attack me while I'm on my own. Well, I've been to my mum. My son's come down to see me. I've got another son that lives in Gloucestershire and I've got family so don't think you're gonna get away with it see you later